important uh, on that aspect. Uh, what we've done is, would, would uh, you say, uh, already baptized the baby. Yeah, I, I was baptized as a baby already. Wow, praise the Lord. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, you can honor your parents and glorify God. Because they gave you the Lord. Yeah. The Louder. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's good. You can honor your parents and glorify God by confirming that baptism today. Mm -hmm. Because now you're a mature person and you confess with your own mouth. Right. Now you need to be baptized in a proper way. <laughs> and this will glorify God and honor your parents. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. And all the time he's got a hold of my hand. <laughs> and you know, uh, one brother asked me what technique. Well, there's no technique but the spirit. Right. But uh, sometimes they, you know, you can do it. There's no problem. Right. This is wonderful. Am I manhandling him? Well, I am. But I'm doing it in a pleasant, gentle way. Right. I'm his body. Right. I'm going to help him come into the kingdom. Amen. He needs a transfer. Amen. We're the best mates in the world. Amen. So, Hallelujah. you know, you're going to be happy and just really be part of them. Right. Like when Amen. Dan was sitting down before, whatever I do, he'll do because I just take the lead. Right. If you sit down, he's going to sit down. And, you know, you say, you can do it. Yeah. I just pushed him up. <laughs> but he doesn't know that. Right. So I just help him. Right. See what you did before, you did this. Yeah. And you think, oh, what's happening? I better get up. Yeah. It's too late. Yeah. So it's just a good way to say, you know, you can do this. People just react. Right. right. You take the lead and they just react. Right. And it's a matter of changing clothes. Don't bother about it. Right. I was telling a brother this morning, we went to one home and the this sister this beautiful silk outfit. It was beautiful. And uh, she had this nicely permed hair. She just got ready to go out somewhere. It was a Sunday <laughs> afternoon. And she had stockings. And for some thought, I thought she'd got to get out of her stockings. It's very uncomfortable for a woman to get baptized in stockings. And she's the enemy. It really right. was. Because, you know, uh, we said, she said, oh, I don't want to be baptized. Said, no problem, no problem. You can be baptized. <laughs> right now, the bath's all ready for you. All you need to do is change your stockings. No, 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 no. All you need to do is just change your stockings. My wife will help you. No, no, no. That's okay. Just get straight in. And she got straight in. <laughs> <laughs> and she's standing there, right? And I said, well, you better just take your belt off. You have a nice belt. We don't want to ruin that. And then sit down. And she says, sit down. I said, yeah, sit down. So she sat down in the bathtub. And uh, so then we just spent a bit of time explaining what's going on. Right. It's crucial this time to keep her in the spirit and keep you in the spirit. Amen. Right? This is the most important. Don't think you're rejoicing now. She's sitting down with a silk dress. Because right now the enemy's throwing in every day. Yeah. She's getting cold. What am I doing in this water? You know. <laughs> so just use the spirit. Amen. Now we want you to have the best transfer. Amen. Now you've been transferring from the kingdom of Satan into the kingdom of God. This is the most important decision you've made in your whole life. Amen. God is going to wash away all your sins. Amen. You become a child of God. Amen. This is a brand new beginning. But we want you to exercise your spirit. And we do this by calling on the name of the Lord together. And then you repeat the prayer after me. We'll pray over you and we'll baptize you into the water. At this time, you might want to hold your nose. It could be uncomfortable. Okay? So let's start to pour. So then we do it that way. And if they do it softly, no, no. We want it nice and strong. Lord this is the strongest time Lord your Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. And pour yourself on them. Right. Now, your spirit is very important too. Right. Right. You know, you're, you're anointing them with yourself. Amen. And when you're baptized, I've seen this. Oh, quick, let's do it. It almost fell into a tap. Well, we want them to have a comfortable baptism. Right. They, they need to be proud of being baptized. Right. Hey, I'm a Christian. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm transferred. Amen. So, you know, do it with some pride. And right. put them out of the water, bring them out gracefully, and then rejoice. <laughs> Be baptized. Come on. Hallelujah! 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 Look, doesn't he look fantastic? Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> the baby child. Look at him. Hallelujah! Wow! Wonderful. Hallelujah. Look, you get changed. We'll see you in the, in the lounge room when you're ready. Oh, okay, okay. Bang. And just wait for the lounge room. To right. Just to secure their salvation. Right. But everything's done with much joy. Right. You know, we need the joy. Right. The joy of the Lord. Amen. And uh, that was the only point, uh, I guess. At that point of time, you've got to be, you know, keen to really pour yourself upon them. There was something else, but I can't remember. Pretty much, it's all the same. Right. Yeah. You know, they'll just say, either I've been baptized or I'm not ready. You just can't, look, you prayed. You didn't have to think about praying. Right. You called. You didn't have to think about calling. The verse says, 
He who receives, believes, and is baptized. So what are you going to think of that? Just do it. Come on. You can do it. Okay. <laughs> That's it. And you'll get them baptized. Right. You'll be surprised. Right. You know, and just get in there. What about this? Oh, he's empty pockets of money. Do any money? This is just a normal way of life. Right. These clothes are meant for your baptism today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's it. Amen. That's it. Okay. Wow. Do you see the point? Yeah. The points? Okay. Just be positive. Be aggressive. Lead them in a sweet way. They will follow. Sons of peace will follow. Amen. All right. Then, when they come out into the lounge room, okay, you get 25 minutes, actually 30 minutes if you count for the five minutes you get to talk to them about being baptized. So once they're headed to baptism, you get 25 minutes. Okay, take that time. And when they come back, sit down with them and either go over uh, the, some of the verses here that we used about he who believes and is baptized shall be saved, to assure them that they're saved, to confirm them. That time afterwards is very important for confirming. You have to confirm them then. That's the time. Spend some time. Congratulate them. Say, you have become a child of God. If you have uh, Life Lesson 1 with you, you can use a few of those first verses in the uh, first lesson to, to give them the assurance that they are saved. So spend a few minutes there. Now, that's not the time to be in a hurry. The time to be in a hurry is between the doors and when you don't find a son to peace. Once you find one, like he said, you have to pour yourself into that person and really uh, confirm them. All right, now, uh, yes. What about if you have the husband and the wife? Do you read and have them pray together? Or can you, can I, I've never experienced where you have more than working okay. on more than one person. Okay, the principle is there's one person taking them through the mystery of human life. <coughs> okay, the principle, the principle is, uh, let's say there's three of us. Okay. Okay, come up, Rich. Okay. Uh, we want one more. Okay. Now, you're an official one. Okay. And he's a new one. And you two are new ones. Okay. Well, if he does the speaking, or I do the speaking, one of us does the speaking. Not all of us, when it comes to the mystery of human life. And whatever he directs, we just do. Right? <laughs> right? That's all you do. You use your finger and you just point. He says, why don't we all read this verse? Huh? Okay. So whatever he says, we just do it. It's a total involvement for everyone in the room. Don't separate, and you get that corner, and you get in this corner. It, you become divided, and the whole thing becomes split. See, he starts calling, and you, what's he doing over there? <laughs> and you haven't got there so far. Or you're on the way to the bathtub, and she hasn't got the calling yet. And you, hey, hey, what's going on here? So it splits the uh, situation. So you, you keep the whole thing together. And when it comes to baptism, oh, praise the Lord. God's really going to bless this whole household. Mm -hmm. He loves the family unit. And he's going to give you a super abundant blessing. Now, because you're married, the husband should be first. But if he puts up a bit of a fight, there's no problem. We can do the wife first. <laughs> oh, just be flexible. You know, as long as you get one in the tub, you get the other. Right. You know? There's no, no problem. But try to keep it as one unit. Right. Well, if, you, if you become divided, everything, right. the testimony becomes divided. Right. Now, last the question. Uh, we've experienced a lot, sure. starting with one person in the home and during the process of the time you're going through the book, someone then else comes in. What principle do you follow there? Do the same thing? Try to just include them where you're at, or then you start all over? That's the enemy coming in. Right. Be careful of that. Um, it depends how far the book you're already through. If you're uh, a long way already into the book and you're going into the prayer, try and get one of the team members that's not functioning, just praying and just being there. Hi. Hi. Look, we love you a second. Come sit down. We're just showing your friend this booklet over here. Mm -hmm. Right? And right. just take him to one side and just keep that one going. Get them in the bathroom and so forth. Right. Just preach the gospel to him. Right. But once the other in things are right. in the way. Once, once one is in process, take them through. Yeah. Right. And uh, even when you've got two there, don't try and get a, a unanimous agreement on baptism. Right. 
In other words, if one is ready to be baptized, and a lot of times when you're reading, you can see one is responding better than the other. Uh, and so if that one's responding, just take him to the water. Don't, you know, he's agree. Okay, now don't, then don't say, well, okay, now he's agreed. How about you want to agree too? Then you'll say, no, I don't think I really want to. Then by the time you go back to him, say, no, I, you know, now I think about it, I don't want to yeah. either. He may have some other objection. He might say, well, I'm a Catholic. This, this is too quick, man. You know, this is too right. fast. Right. And he will actually spoil the whole thing. Right. Right. Uh, if it's early in the piece, then that's fine. Just go back to, you know, the one part we're just showing your friend this. We'll right. read this verse again. Right. It'll be only one verse or one page, but other than that, just go through it. Otherwise, you're we, in Anaheim, uh, at least where, where I was in Fullerton, we lost a number of baptisms because the saints tried in multiple situations to get everybody to agree to be baptized. Uh, if you got one hot one, get them in the water. Yeah. And then the others, uh, they may follow, they may not follow. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. He's electrifying and really excited. And they're going to gather here again in two weeks. They want to break 400 baptisms. So by the Lord's grace, we may come back in two weeks' time. But if not, I hope you enjoyed the time here in Seattle.